Hi, I'm Lars from All About Samsung and today we put the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S8 into the water and into the dirt. Before we're gonna do this, we need to talk about why we are doing this, because the Samsung Galaxy S8 comes with the same IP68 certification the Galaxy S7 had. Actually, on the Unpacked event in London and apparently on the Unpacked event in New York, nobody had the chance to actually check if the Samsung Galaxy S8 is waterproof. So that's what we are going to do right now. Let's explain the IP rating first. Actually, IP stands for International Protection Rating and the IP68 needs to be split into two digits. The first digit, the 6, stands for dust tight. So the Samsung Galaxy S8 is dust tight, there's no chance of dust getting into the device. The second digit, the 8, stands for an immersion of at least 1 meter of depth. Actually, Samsung specified it to 1 meter 50 of depth for at least 30 minutes. Unfortunately, I don't have a pond over here, I don't have a sea or a lake or something, so we're just gonna test it right into the bowl of water. And we have some sand over here. This is actually quite small sand, so it's interesting to see actually if the sand will block the speaker or the USB Type-C ports. Of course, in those ports you have some sands which will stick in, but the question is, after the whole procedure if the smartphone will still work. First I'm going to put the Samsung Galaxy S8 into some dirt. Actually this is some really fine sand. This was the close I could find to actually check if the Samsung Galaxy S8 is dustproof. The Samsung Galaxy S8 has actually the IP68 rating by some seals because when you take a closer look onto the frame of the device you're gonna notice that there is around the USB Type-C port a really small and thin seal out, made out of plastic and the same seal is around the 3.5 millimeter jack and this goes through even in the speaker there's going to be some seal and on the speaker on the top level there will be a seal as well so there are a lot of seals internally built and the whole device itself is mostly glued so you have no fixes and no screws or something so this is going to be actually waterproof and dustproof and this is what we are going to test right now I mean the dust itself is not that actually critical because yeah normally you don't notice when some really bad dust comes into your device you are probably gonna notice when there is some dust into your camera but on the rest of the device you won't even notice that there is dust in your device but when you're going to the desert, maybe there is, it's important that it is actually dustproof. And yeah, it survives, so this is not that fascinating. And when I'm going to put the black one as the Galaxy S8, which I got here, is a bit smaller, just right into the sand, then there it's fully covered into the sand or into the dust. There is no device to see anymore and it's still working, so it's still without any floor. So, the best thing actually is that you don't have any more home button left. On the Galaxy S7 Edge, which had the IP68 rating as well, you had the home button and there was a chance that there was some small pieces of sand or something stick into the home button and make it won't function anymore. So you don't have the problem over here, it's still working. And now let's get into the water. So here I got the bowl of water and now we're gonna just put the Samsung Galaxy S8 into the water like this so it's clean again without all the sand and we're just gonna drop the Galaxy S8 Plus just straight on onto it so you see the always on display at least is still working actually you could start the camera just by pressing the power button twice on the water so you have the camera working under the water so you're now gonna see me filming the smartphone in the water on the camera in the water even though the problem is actually that in the water the display won't function so you just can't have any touch control on the display so the camera is barely usable under the water because sometimes you will just lose the focus or something so the whole camera stuff you can see I just can make a picture right now using the volume keys even though it's just I just can't fix the focus or I just can't switch to the backside camera now I switch to the backside camera, 
Plus, actually, sometimes in the water, the smartphone will be, yeah, by accident, switched to some targets. So now you can see the flash is turned off and on sometimes. Sometimes you're just doing a picture or something just by yeah, moving the smartphone into the water. This is actually a problem. You would need an option to use the camera without an enabled smartphone display and this is on the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus just not possible. So you need to enable the display so it's quite hard to actually control the camera underwater even though it's working and it's still living. And the same goes for the Galaxy S8 which I got here which is the normal version. The Galaxy S8 Plus I got here already so they're both soaked totally into the water. They're both living and yeah, and now I could use them, even though it's not quite, yeah, quite interesting that it's working quite good. So I can still use it while the display being wet. This is interesting because normally when the display is wet, the smartphone isn't even usable because all the water on the display will harm the function of the touch screen. But here it's completely usable being wet, which is interesting. Actually, for me, it's kind of fascinating. I didn't expect that. So, um... Now going back into the camera just to check if I still can do the, yeah, you can see I can now operate on the camera like I did before and this is actually quite good while being on a wet display. I'm doing this with my whole fingers wet from the water and I still can use the camera without any problems. I could even toggle some pro mode on and choose an ISO of maybe like a fixed ISO of 200 or so. This is without any problem. Kind of interesting that the display is actually capable of not noticing my fingers and to make a difference between the fingers and the little drops of water away. So the Samsung Galaxy S8 survives in the water. Lucky me. Actually there's one thing to add because Samsung says it's waterproof but and the but is important because it's not allowed to use the Samsung Galaxy S8 in salt water, like in the sea, or in chlorinated water, like you have in your swimming pool. No, the waterproof feature is more like, I would call it a life insurance. So whenever you're close to some water and you drop the phone, it won't instantly die. So you're more or less secure unless you're going into deep water or something. But the good thing is the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus are not meant to actually be kind of an action camera or like a GoPro or so for diving or so. No, it's more like a life insurance and whenever you drop the phone by accident, maybe in salt water or chlorinated water, then I would recommend to instantly wash it right afterwards with some fresh and clear water so you don't have any problems with the contacts otherwise they might get maybe damaged or so by the salt water so be aware of this this actually was a short test of the samsung galaxy s8 plus and the samsung galaxy bleh, s8 getting soaked I know it was a short test, but I didn't have the time frame to do a longer test video about it. Maybe later we are going to take it to the test to a lake or something. I hope you liked the video. We are going to do other videos of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus as well. So be sure to follow us here on YouTube. I'm Lars from All About Samsung. See you next time. Bye.